Hi, welcome to the Let Design channel. In this video, let me show you how to make this exercise. And this exercise known as support bracket. Well, this is the dimension part for this modeling. And then let's make a modeling part now from the SolidWorks interface. Let's start by click a front plan and go to normal tool. Then click the sketch and select for the circle. Start from this origin point and then click smart dimension to set the diameter value and set for 19 mm then press enter for the next step let's let's click for the Virgo circle and set for diameter value for 38 mm then press enter well and I want to make for guideline by clicking midpoint line then I want to check for construction mode make it a vertical right click and click select then I want to make it for horizontal too right click and click select well trim entities and make sure them to close is selected then I want to remove this one okay next and I want to make for select for this line and start from this point then go back to this one make it like this one it will make it a power radius and then horizontal then vertical then make the same way to make power radius then just connect to this line right click then select let's let us set for this uh, dimension by click or smart dimension for this one and I want to set for radius to 6 mm then press enter and then I want to make for 3 mm for this one then let's set for 30 mm from this distance then press enter well and then i want to set for thirty eight millimeter but it's divided for two and then click ok so the dimension is so it is a uh, 19 millimeter and then let's set for uh, 22 millimeter for this distance make this dimension driven if your sketch is like this and then let's uh, mirror for the sketch by click uh, mirror entities and then mirror about this guideline and select for entities just delete for this one and then I want to set for but before that let's uh, define for this line dimension uh, to this origin and I want to set for 44 millimeter then press enter well click ok and then mirror entities and mirror about this guideline then entities to mirror let's select for this one
see the yellow preview will show in this right side and then apply and then I want to make for the other sketch from this point let's zoom out and then make it a uh, vertical make it for this one horizontal and then connect to this one well let's click for this fillet and i want to set for 13 millimeter for its radius and then click to this point I'm sorry let's click for 13 millimeter press uh, and hold the control button then click to this line and then ok make for the same way for this one ok and then click for 19 millimeter and then click to this point then ok for the next step click a smart dimension and I want to set for this line this point to this center and I will set for 105 millimeter and then let's click for the circle and I want to start from this one transfer diameter value to 10 millimeter then press enter and give the distance for this center and to this side and it is 19 millimeter then from this point to this center point and it is 15 millimeter Press enter and then click on mirror and it is mirror about this line and then click to this entities okay well let's give this uh, sketch thickness by click of mirrors and then extrude was for the first one Let's set for 10 millimeter, and then I'll click to this one, and then apply. Well, click to this toggle to expand for its feeder, and then click to the sketch, and click extrude wash. Set for 50 millimeter, and then click to the sketch. Then apply for the next step I will show you how to make this rip in the sketch by click right plan and then click sketch right click and make it a normal tool click to this line set for this point and connect to this one so it will block for this area and then let's give for this thickness by click a viewer give for 10 millimeter for its thickness then change for the direction one to my plan 
and then apply. Well, this modeling almost done, but if you want to change for the color or its appearance, click to this icon. For the example, I want to set for, I'm sorry, right click on the left. Uh, for the example, I want to change for green color. And then apply. And then I want to change for several surface color by press and hold the control button then click to this surface this is the optional you can make your own color And I want to make it for yellow color. Well, if you want to change for the isometric view, you can press the combination keyboard button Ctrl 7. Well, the modeling is done. I hope you can follow this exercise tutorial. And if you want to have a request, you can write the comment in this in this comment below uh, thanks for watching i hope you like this tutorial see you on my next video